Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. So today I am going to do a reading on Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber. So y'all have been asking me to do this reading. So here I am, I'm gonna do it. So the question is, are Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber gonna get back together in 2022? So I'm gonna try my best to insert this question today. And yeah, let's get started. I'm really excited. Um, I was not really hyped to do this reading, but since you were a lot asking me to do it, I'm gonna do it. So yeah, um, before starting the reading, if you wanna get a private reading from me, just contact me on my Instagram. I have linked my Instagram account in the description box. So if you want to get a private reading, just send me a message on Instagram and I will get you an appointment. Anyways, let's get started. So today I have brought with me my other Oracle cards. So this is the symbol and deck and I love it um, because I mean, it just, I love this deck because it is so accurate. So what I'm gonna do today is that I'm gonna pull one card of the deck and this card will represent Justin and Selena's relationship for 2022. Okay, I actually did that yesterday for Selena's reading. Make sure to just check it out. And yeah, let's get started. So I'm gonna pull my tarot cards away. And let's see, so let me try to connect to Justin and Selene Gomez's energy. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna take one card. What Justin Bieber's and Selena Gomez's relationship is. Ooh, okay, this card just flew out. Okay, what, oh my God. Okay, interesting. Okay, okay, wow. So as you guys can see here, we have two women being really nice to each other. Like it's, they're having a conversation. Those two people are like having a good time. They're talking, they look really in harmony. You know, they look really happy together. So apparently this might be Selena and Justin, you know, communicating, like having, you know, um, some kind of bonding, a really a connection. So you know what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take another card with it. You know, I want it to be really accurate. Since there are two people here, I'm going to presume it's Selena and Justin. But I want another card actually. Justin Bieber and Selena Marie Gomez. What their relationship is gonna be like in 2022. Thank you, Spirit, thank you, Spirit. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. Okay, I'm gonna take this card. Wow, interesting, guys. Oh my god, I love this card. You know why? Because this card is basically talking about stability. It's talking about reaching out to somebody. It's talking about, you know, taking back what, what, um, how can I say that? It's all about, um, um, how can I say that? Gaining stability. You know what I mean? So I feel like those two cards basically talk about, uh, um, them reaching out to each other this is them communicating this is m having a, a con a connection you know this is weird but what i'm sensing here is that there's no actual love thing here this is weird like i don't get this love energy coming from those two cards you know i i just feel like you know th this is good energy this is almost like they are in peace this is almost like they are you know wishing the best for each other. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know what those two cards really mean. I'm gonna take my tarot cards to understand it. But yeah, this is really interesting, really interesting. But what's funny though, is that here we have the woman here holds an apple and you guys know, I don't know if you know that, but the apple is a symbol for temptation. I mean, you know that, I mean, it's in, it's literally in the Bible, but anyway, so I feel like this could be the, the 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 apple here could represent them being tempted to talk to each other again. It's almost like, you know, the vibe I'm getting here is that it's almost like two friends are reaching out to each other after 10 years, you know, like some childhood friends, like talking to each other and reconnecting and just, yeah, talking about their lives. This is the energy I'm getting here. It's almost like they're going to communicate, but... At, but not as lovers. Wow, interesting. So let's see, I'm gonna take my tarot cards to understand it really. And yeah, let's get started. So Selena Gomez and just, damn, the cards, ooh, what's the, what the hell is happening today? Like the cards literally fly. Wow, okay. Here, interesting. Here we have the eight of 
Pentacles and here we have the Knight of Wands. So I feel like, so this could talk about work. You know, this card talks about work. So they might be communicating or being reunited at some like celebrate, I mean, for work, you know. I immediately thought about the Grammys, you know. I don't know if there's gonna be um, like a celebration. I mean, you know, like at the Grammy. So I feel like they might meet each, meet each other at the Grammys. I don't know why I thought about it, but you know, they are, um, Selena is nominated for Best Latin Album, and Justin is nominated for several, um, several prizes. So they might meet each other there. But here we have the Knight of, um, the Knight of Wands. It's almost like they are, they are scared to talk to each other again. You know, I feel like they haven't been talking, um, directly. They haven't been talking face to face for years now. But they have been like sending little messages to each other through music through work you know so this is really interesting so what i'm gonna ask spirit is um what justin bieber's and selena gomez's relationship is going to be like in 2022 wow okay ten of swords interesting thank you spirit thank you spirit thank you spirit can i have three other cards justin bieber and selena gomez justin bieber and selena gomez the hangman the Empress card. Hmm. And the and the will for it. Okay. Interesting, you guys. Real interesting. What I'm sensing here is that hmm. I feel like, you know, here we have the Ten of Swords, which is basically talking about ending. It's talking about, you know, like it's it basically talks about death, like not being able to do anything. So this card might be talking about their last i mean the last couple of years i mean they haven't been talking to each other at all you know i feel like they just acted like each other didn't exist you know what i mean um so i feel like this card represents their past relationship for the last couple of years now and here we have the empress card which is talking about you know motherhood it talks about maturity you know it's almost like here we have the hangman which is a child and here we have the mother the empress it's almost like they have both grew up since their since their relationship it's almost like they're not children anymore now they are adults and they they are capable to talk so i don't know why i feel like there's going to be some talk between the two this year it's almost like they're going to talk um but not necessarily in the uh, love i mean in a love way but more as okay we went through this together we ended our relationship on bad terms now i need explanation you know i feel like this is what's what's gonna happen it's almost like they are going to talk and just to clarify things just to understand what really happened and just to understand each other i feel like they both need that they both need that because their relationship is has been really bad and i feel like they both need to get clar clarification from from what happened you know so i don't know why i i get this feeling of you know being adults now and now we are capable of talking and not like you know we don't want any drama i mean you know this is the vibe i'm getting here and this card might be talking about Haley too you know here we have you know the it this card almost looks like um, the Queen of Wands in the de in the tarot card in the tarot card deck, which is basically Haley's Haley's card. So this card might be talking about Haley. You know, it might be Selena saying to Justin, "Okay, I'm ha I mean, if you are happy with your wife, I'm happy for you guys, but I feel like we need to talk. We need a conversation. You know what I mean? This is weird. That this is what I'm getting here. You know, interesting. Let's see. So are they going to communicate? Are they going to talk really thank you spirit oh yes you guys yes this is just confirmation of what i just said the two of cups this is two people reaching out this is two people connecting two people communicating talking and just clarifying things look at that this card also talks about peace like after war you're just wants peace and now you say okay let's stop the fighting now let's not fight anymore let's just speak like adults you know so this is really interesting because this is just what i just said you know i feel like they are going to talk and as adults not as children anymore but as adults and they're going to clarify things you know because i feel like they both need that 
but ooh, the moon card, but it's gonna be done in secret. This is not gonna, gonna be public at all. Like they're gonna try to make it like secretive and like behind the scenes, you know? Yes, wow, four of wands. You know, like this card represents two people marry, marrying each other. This is a wedding, okay? So maybe in the curb, in, in the conversation they're gonna have, maybe they're gonna talk about Justin's marriage with Haley. Maybe Selena's gonna be like, okay, you literally were were talking to me two months before you got engaged, you know? So maybe this is what their talk is gonna be about. You know, I feel like this is what um this reading is all about. I feel like they need to talk. I feel like they need to communicate, you know? They need to just have this conversation where where the, so they can be in peace, you know? So they can get peace of mind, peace of in their lives because they're not truly really happy at the moment. And I feel like in order to be happy and in order for Selena to finally find true love with somebody else, she needs to have a conversation with Justin, you know? The Hermit card and the Justice card. Wow. They need justice, you guys. Selena, I mean, no, Selena needs justice. She And justice will be done. But in order to get justice, they need to talk. They need to talk and clarify things. Because those last couple of years have just been really... Um, in, um, can I say injustice? I don't know if this word exists, but it, 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 it was not equal, you know, for them. Because Justin was like happy, I mean, not really happy, but he was in a relationship with Haley. They were posting p pictures of each other all the time, whereas Selena was alone. You know, the Hermit card talks about loneliness. Like Selena literally took time. I mean, Selena, I mean, it's almost like, you know, what's really funny is that you know, Justin was like, I, I mean, a couple of years ago, he was like, yes, I'm in love with Selena. I will never forget her. But, but literally two months after they were talking with Selena, he got engaged with, with Haley, you know? So it almost represents that he was not true to her. You know, it's almost like he was not really in love and Selena was not really important to her, to him, you know? Whereas Selena literally waited for years to get healed from their relationship because Justin was really important for her. Justin was like the love of her life and she needed time to to heal from that, you know? So I feel like that this year is going to be a year where where they are going to find peace. They're going to be justice. They're going to find peace of mind through communicating, through talking, okay? Wow. Oh my God. What a reading, you guys. What a reading. This is crazy. This is really crazy. So I'm going to ask Spirit, um, is there anything else we should know about... Oh my God, I cannot... Ooh, yes, wow, look at that. Three of three of cups and the, and the sun card. Okay, so I'm going to ask Spirit one, one more time. Is there anything... Oh, and the strength card. Ooh, oh my God, look at that. The tower card and the devil card. Ooh, and the knight of swords. You guys, this is... I feel like... Mm, I feel like this is Selena running away from all of that, you know? So the tower card is basically talking about something that happened suddenly, something you don't expect, you know? So this might be a conversation. So as I told you, I feel like they're going to be reunited at some pla at some point, like in a place. I mean, um, like for work. So it might be at a concert or at a ceremony. I mean, it might be at the Grammys. I don't know. But they're going to be reunited and they're going to talk. But this is something unexpected, you guys. This is something unexpected. But I feel like this is them just regaining their their strength back in order not to be, you know, like in order in order to get peace of mind. Anyways, you guys, I feel like this is what Spirit has to tell us here. Um, is there anything else we should know? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Anything else about Justin Bieber and Selena Mary Gomez? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, yes. Ooh, and the sun card, you guys. Sun card. It's almost like they're going to be relieved from a weight. They have been carrying this burden for years now, and they are going to be released relieved from um from a burden okay wow love that yes again wow and this is the final card of this reading we got it two or three times and this is this card basically 
summarizes this whole reading. This is this is them reaching out to each other. This is them communicating and having a talk, you know, after all of these years and just getting peace of mind. Okay. Wow. And what's real funny is that I don't know if you have watched my last video. If you haven't, just go watch it. This is basically uh, a reading on Selena Gomez for 2022. And I was saying Selena is going to be finally able to heal from her relationship with Justin, you know, and she's going to find a new relationship. But I feel like this is what's going to what's going to happen. They're going to have a talk and Selena is going to is going to be free, free from their relationship. And she's finally going to be able to find somebody, you know. Wow. So you guys, this is all for this reading. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to put a thumbs up and subscribe, share anything. And again, if you want to get a private reading, just contact me on my Instagram. Anyways, I see you guys tomorrow for a new video. Bye.